You cannot avoid the impact from robots. It's all around us. From vacuum cleaners to industrial robots packing up your orders at Amazon. But our future will be impacted by so much more than just robots. Spending time thinking about the future will better prepare you to take advantage of what is coming. The best place to start thinking about the future is to take a look at the past. You would be amazed at how much of what we have today is last generation's science fiction. Did you know that Scuba was predicted in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea written by Jules Verne in 1875? Or how about Test Two Babies written by Huxley in 1932 in his book, A Brave New World? Well, let's talk about robots. Robots and the term robots fell into common use after Carl Capix's 1920 book, Rosen's Universal Robots. Or how about cable TV? Cable TV came into being visioned in a book written by George Orwell. The book was written in 1949, titled 1984. Or how about screensavers? For those of us old enough to remember screensavers, screensavers were predicted in the book Stranger in a Strange Land, written in 1961 by Robert Heinlein. Or how about the internet? Mark Twain predicted the internet in a short story called The London Times of 1904. Now Mark Twain wrote that story in 1898. What used to fascinate us in our latest science fiction novel is now here and impacting our lives. So what can you do to be better prepared to be a leader in this coming future? Here are some simple steps that can help you wrap your mind around the future. Number one, explore and discover. Go out and take experiential trips, what I call trend safaris, to research and experience history, technology, art, entertainment, nature, and cultures. These trips can open your mind and senses to things that can inspire you. For example, take a walk through places like the Computer History Museum, where you can see how others invented the future you are benefiting from today, and also see what inspired them. Number two. Test your abilities to ideate the future. Identify what areas of your life have been most impacted in the past by major leaps of innovation. Then set aside 30 minutes to just daydream about the future and how it could impact you and what changes could impact your day-to-day -day life. Number three, focus on an idea. Take one of those future ideas and test it with others. Refine your idea based on their feedback. Test your best ideas and find a way to bring them in creating a minimal viable version of it and letting other people give you their thoughts on it. Number four, demonstrate your thought leadership. Find ways you can share and promote your new ideas. Identify an area of thought leadership you want to own and then create a way to share it, such as on a blog, a podcast, a book, or even going out on the speaking circuit. And number five, collaborate with others. Get engaged with collaborative groups across geographies, cultures, industries, and competencies. Look, innovation starts with creation and creation begins with a vision. Start by asking yourself critical questions that challenge you to think beyond what is today, but more about how you can create what is tomorrow. I spent much of my career exploring, envisioning, ideating, and executing ideas, and then bringing them to market. The process of innovating great ideas and then developing them into successful products and services is not beyond your reach. It's a skill anyone can learn, practice, and become proficient at. But most importantly, do not do it alone. Find great minds that have a common interest in driving the future, such as the future of leadership and the innovators community. Proactive and highly interactive communities such as FLI and the innovators community will be the engine that will help you accelerate all of your ideas to create a successful and bright future.